Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Priscilla. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, so in this video, we're going to be continuing with the lab setup for our ICCM installation in VirtualBox. And what we're going to do in this video is install SQL Server 2019 into our um, ICCM server. Uh, we're also going to do install SQL Server 2019, a cumul cumulative update, cumulative update. Uh, SQL Server Management Studio, SQL Server Reporting Tools, and then WSIS or the Windows Server Update Service Services. Um, so we're going to be doing all of that in this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. But all right, let's get to it. All right. So in this video, we're going to install SQL Server 2019 as, as well as all of the other applications that go along with SQL Server 2019. So we're going to Go ahead and go through that. First thing that we're going to do is mount the ISO for SQL Server 2019 in order to install it. So I'm going to go to input optical. I'm going to mount that ISO. So I'm going to choose where it's at. And it is on one. I saved it there. So I have the ISO mounted. I'm going to go ahead and run it. Well, I'm going to open it first. And I'm just going to run that setup file on there. Okay, so click there, set up. You could just run it as is too. I don't know why I did it this way, but it's just another way to do it. So we're going to wait for that to load. It should load soon. Cool. And then from here, we're going to go to installation. We're going to do the new SQL Server standalone installation. And that's going to load right now. So that's okay. So we're going to do the free edition with the next. Well, for me, if you have a code, then use that. We're going to put accept with the next. We're going to wait for that to run. We're going to put, let's just check that one, put next, and wait for that one to run as well. Okay, cool. So that's done. Now that's going to start up again. All right. Cool, so that's open. Now it's going to have the rule check. So it has that Windows firewall right there, the warning, but we're going to do that later. So that's fine for now. We could ignore that and everything else is good. So we could go ahead and put next. All right, so in this one, we're going to be installing the database engine services or the feature, I guess, is what we're going to be installing. So we're going to select that one database engine services, and then we're going to click next. Wait for that one to load again. Anytime now. Cool. All right, so then we're gonna put next on there because that's all good. Okay, so now on this one, we're going to add our domain administrator account for the SQL Server agent. So you could either write it in, like if I do, the pleon slash administrator so we're going to go ahead and do pleon slash administrator and then we're going to enter the password for our admin account and then it's going to be automatic startup type and then we're going to for sql server database engine Another way to add it is if you do um, uh, admin, and you check the name, click on that one, and it'll be the same thing. So we'll enter the password for that one. And I'm just going to do it on this one too, just because I don't know. Why not? Admins, cool. And then password for that one, and then we're going to leave that at, at automatic. Another thing you want to check on this page is the um, collation. You want to make sure it has that one on there when you're doing it. So just double check it. Now, okay, we're going to put, we're going to put next. Here we're going to specify the SQL Server Administrator. So I'm going to go ahead and add my SCCM admin account. So go to add, and then you enter SCCM, and then check the name, check names, click on that one. And I'm going to add my domain admin account. Check names. Ooh. All right, so now we're going to go to next because that is all good. Mm 
Let me go and check something here. Um, all right, so there's actually something on this featured configuration rules page. Just want to show you guys. So if you go back, show details, just wanted to make sure that's all good. All right, so next, and we're just going to go ahead and install it. Now, this one I spit up through because it does take some time. So, okay, cool. That's all done. I'm saying cool a lot. Okay, so that's good. The install is successful. The next thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and minimize it or close out of it. We'll minimize that one for now. So we're going to, I'm on my uh, host machine now. We're going to uh, download the SQL Server cumulative update. So um, if you just do a Google search, download SQL Server 2019 update, that works out well too. And then you'll, I'm going to include a link to this in the description, but you're going to look for that one if you're Googling it. And you're going to download it. Download the latest cumulative update package for SQL Server 2019. So that's going to download. We're going to download it. But like I said, I'm going to include a link in the description for this one. So you could just have it there if you didn't want to Google it. But once that downloads, I'm going to save it to my network share uh, that I have between my host and my guest. So that way I can just install it on my uh, guest machine when it's done downloading. So, and the reason I did it on my host is because when you use your, the browser, on your server, there's a lot of security restrictions that kind of just, it doesn't let you do much. So it's just easier that way. But anyways, I'm gonna my network share and I'm gonna go and download the server update, the, the one that I just downloaded, KB4577194 for SQL Server 2019. So I'm gonna run it. So it's gonna download the hot, fi hot fix pack. Okay, so. Now we put we accept these license terms that we haven't read and put next. Next on this one as well. All right, next. It's gonna check the files. I don't remember if I sped up through this one. Okay, cool, that's done. Uh, I sped up through this one, I think. Yeah, good. So That's all good. So we're done with that. The next thing that we're going to do, we're going to do the SQL Server Management Studio setup or installation, SSMS setup. And you should have already had this installed, but if you don't, again, I'll include a link to that in the description. So you have that ready for you. So we're going to click on that one, uh, going to install it. So this is the SQL Server Management Studio with Azure Data Studio. Gonna install that one. And then while that's installing, we're gonna also, you'll also have to download the SQL 2019 reporting services. If you haven't done so already, and again, I'll include this uh, link in the description for that. So we're gonna download it and then I'll save it to my network share. When it's done. All right, so now we're gonna try, we're gonna do, going to go to server manager, manage add roles and features, and we're going to install the server role of the Windows Server Update Services. I'm going to click that, add features, and next. On this features one tab, we're going to put next. Here, we're going to take off the WID connectivity and add the SQL Server connectivity with the WSIS services. WSIS services. Here, we're going to create a folder in our, I did it on my C drive to save the, the updates locally. So I'm just gonna go to, well, yeah, to my PC, C drive. And then I'm gonna create a folder and I'm gonna label it WSUS or WSUS, Windows Server Update Services. And I'm gonna copy the file path to that folder and paste it in that box right there. I'm gonna put next. 
So I when okay, so when I did this at first, I made a mistake. So here I did check connection, but I didn't enter my SCCM.pleon.com. So I think that's what caused it to, to mess up when I did this initially. Because it I like I made such a mistake. I wasn't able to do what I needed to do. It didn't work pretty much. So when I did this, I uh I was just like, what the heck? Um, and anyways, you could see me kind of looking back and forth, making sure that I was doing it right, but I still went forward and I didn't enter it. So I did next. And um, after I'm done looking at this one and I ended up like having to go back and try to delete it. I ended up deleting the .NET framework. Anyways, I'm gonna explain that a little further on, but I just wanted to show you this part to show like my failure as to when I did it. Because you can tell when this is done installing and I do the launch post installation task, you'll see it has that red flag. So that indicated to me that I did it wrong. It didn't work. But I kind of took a second. I had to figure some things out. But right now I'm going to move on to the to installing or configuring um, the Windows Server Management Studio because we have to make some changes to the memory. So we're gonna go and open up window, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And once that opens up, so we're gonna to connect to our server. And then we're going to right click on the SCCM. So just showing that you that, but we're gonna right click SCCM and go to properties. And we're going to change the memory because this one goes to the max memory that it has, but we don't want it using up all of our resources. So typically the minimum is eight gigs, but I did four gigs because I mean, I didn't want it to using eight gigs of minimum server memory just to have more resources. But like, I guess it'll give you an error, like a warning message later on when you're installing a CCM. But I mean, for me, it's fine. This is a testing environment, but you should know that typically it should be eight gigs. If you have eight gigs to use them, that, that works out fine. But anyways, I'm gonna try the WSUS add-on again. So we're gonna to go to add roles and features, gonna to go to WSUS, and then we're gonna next, next, next. Here, take off the WID, SQL Server, go to next. Gonna copy that file path again for the folder I created. And then now I'm going to install or do the sccm.pleon.com. Check that connection. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and install that. So you can see that it has that .NET one. So I had deleted it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna launch the post task, task installation. And that one worked. So I didn't get that error message again. And you could verify that the was this database was added in your um, SQL Server Management Studio. But I mean, anyways, yeah, so like when I was doing this, I made a mistake when I didn't do that part previously with the SCCM.plan.com. So I ended up having to delete that, the feature, and then I deleted like the .NET framework, which didn't allow me to enter Server Manager. So I was looking online to find solutions to it because, you know, I, I figured I wasn't the first person or only person to ever run into that. So um, I was able to find a solution on this website to download uh, the .NET framework through the DISM, um, D-I-S-M, and through the command prompt. So it ended up working out, but it took me some time to figure out. And essentially, it just goes to show, like in the real world, when you do run into issues, um, there's always a way to troubleshoot and find solutions, whether it is online, looking, Googling it, um, looking on forums, maybe asking coworkers or asking um, you know, looking at knowledge base or wikis or policies or whatever, but there's always a way to find a solution to whatever problem that happens, you know, and that's just, it was a good, it was a learning moment for me. And, you know, if you run into any issues while you're doing this too, there's always a solution to it. You could always send me a comment, you could always look online, but there's always a way to kind of get around that. So this was definitely a teachable moment. Um, but anyways, that's done. The configuration successfully completed. So that's done. But again, if you want to check that it, the WSUS, the WSUS database was installed, you go to your Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, and you're going to verify that 
it is all good by um so this is going to open up it's going to take a little bit more time for some reason when i do it this time so open up i mean sorry if i'm rambling but yeah that was this thing it, it took me it threw me for a loop when i was doing this initially because right now I'm, I'm narrating over what i recorded but um looking back at it it was pretty it was a good learning experience just as far you know nothing's ever going to really run perfectly but if you do run into issues just know that there's always a solution to that especially with as much information as there is on the internet there's always a way to get around it and when i found that forum with the 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 uh script i guess to install it i was like yes thank you but anyway so you're going to go connect to our server and then if you expand databases you'll see the sus DB. So that's verifying that you have the WSIS database installed. So if you have that, then you're all good. So we can close out of this. And you could also see it on your server manager. It has WSIS under the IISS on the left. All right. So now we are going to go to our network share and we're going to install the Windows SQL Server reporting services, the one we just downloaded earlier. I'm going to go ahead and run that. And this one should be fairly quick. So we're going to run that right now. Just more waiting. All right, so install reporting services. I have the free edition. I don't have a product key. Accept these terms I haven't read. Install next. Install. And then so that's going to go in and install. I didn't speed through this one. And then we're good. Cool. So we can go ahead and close out of this one. All right. So we're done with our SQL Server 2019 installation. So we installed SQL Server 2019. We installed the cumulative update. We did the Windows Server. When, when, what's this? Windows Server Update Services installation. You know, I made a mistake on it, uh, but I was able to fix it later on. Again, if you run into any issues, feel free to, to ask any questions or, you know, there's always people online who, if you do a Google search, you'll find a forum with the solution. That's what ended up working for me. So we did the WSIS installation. We also did the Windows, the SQL Server Management Studio installation, fixed the memory configuration and properties. And then we installed Windows 2019 reporting services. In our next video, we're going to be doing that Windows firewall rule, you know, for the warning that it indicated when we were installing uh, SQL Server. So we're going to do that in our next video and we're inching closer to the actual SCCM installation. So we're almost there. I'm so excited. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any comments, suggestions, or anything, feel free to drop them in the comment section. If you want to go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel, I would definitely appreciate that as well. But again, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. All right, have a good one. Bye.